12 Greatest Players of All Time by Steve Walters, USPTA Elite Tennis Professional, USTA High Performance Trained, 35-year tennis pro, big fan of old-time tennis. Anyway, I know who the greatest player of all time is, and I know who the top 12 greatest players of all time are. I'm not sure who's number two, three, four, five, six, like that. Um, I think I know who the top six are, maybe the top seven, and numbers eight through ten are, are, are debatable, and, and maybe eight through eleven. But anyway, I think Roger Federer is the greatest player of all time. I don't think there's any question about that. He's considered the greatest player of all time, and we, we've got, we can, hindsight is 2020, we can look back and see, you know, who the greatest players are. He's got 20, 20 majors, his record is impeccable. Number two, Don Budge used to be considered the greatest player of all time for many, many years. Bill Tilden considered him the greatest player of all time. So did, did, so did Jack Kramer. And Don Budge won the Grand Slam. And for many years, he was considered the greatest player of all time by many of, of the all-time greats. Number three, Bill Tilden was tennis. He was considered the best player of all time up until about 1969, really, or until Don Budge took over Pancho Gonzalez. But Bill Tilden... Bill Tilton only won 10 majors because there was no such thing as the Australian Open when he was playing, and the French Open was not open, it was closed. Don Budge only won about, I don't know, was it 11 slams? Because back then, no one, nobody traveled to Australia, and the Australian Open wasn't even invented yet. And like I said, the French Open was not open until about 1933. Pancho Gonzalez could be considered the best player of all time. He had a few weaknesses in his, in his game, but he was probably a better player than Rod Laver, who is commonly considered the best player of all time besides Roger Federer. Pancho Gonzalez only won about two majors, I believe it was, two or three, because he turned pro. Once you turn pro, you couldn't play the majors. So Pancho Gonzalez was the greatest professional player for eight years when all the best players turned pro. Open tennis did not start until 1969, so anybody who played before 1969, their major total was downgraded because you couldn't play majors once you turn pro. Six, Rafael Nadal, I'm guessing. Number seven, Rafael Nadal could go higher. Number seven, Jack Kramer might be the best player of all time. He was the top professional player for about five years. And he only won a few majors because in the old days, once you won Wimbledon, once you won the U.S. Open, you turned pro. Pete Sampras was considered the best player of all time up until Roger Federer broke his record. Ellsworth Vines was considered the best player of all time by players no 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 no, no less than Bill Tilden and Don Budge. They considered Ellers, Ellsworth Vines the best player of all time. Lou Ho, number 10, was considered the best player of all time by Pancho, Pancho Gonzalez, Rod Laver, and Ken Rosewall. Novak Djokovic could be going higher very soon. Bjorn Borg is probably the 12th best player of all time. That's what I got so far. I will make updates and change my mind. What do you think?